Okay, another filter review for you guys. This time SV Boney has sent me their SV260 multi-broadband filter. This filter is perfect for galaxies and reflection nebula, and it is very comparable to the Optolong L Pro. So I'm putting the two head-to-head, -head, running a quick test with each of them, same object, same night, same amount of acquisition time, and I wanted to show you guys the results. Quick disclaimer, I do get to keep this filter, but as always, it doesn't have anything to do with my opinion on the review. Let's check it out. I'll show you the test that I ran through it. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. All right, so this is the box that it comes in. I'm sure you all are excited about me unboxing a filter, right? But just to show you real quick, the first thing it does come with, where to go? So they do send you a little graph for the transmittance. So you can see the light that it's blocking and the light that it's passing through. Nice hard plastic case, the foam insert to hold the filter. There were protective sleeves on the front and back of the filter. Obviously, I took those off before I used them. Not too much to go over. It is a two inch mounted filter, so it's threaded. They have the name and the type of filter etched on the side of it. I would like to see them start etching the actual model number of the filter. So, you know, SV260, it would just be handy. So let's take a look at this graph that they sent us. I'm gonna pull up online what they have here. And my testing is going to be comparing it to the Optolong L Pro filter, because as you can see here, we have the L Pro on the left hand side and the SV260 on the right. These transmittance lines are very, very similar. We have the percentage on the left and then we have our wavelength on the bottom for both graphs. So they're not identical, but they're not that far off from each other, right? So between what looks like to be maybe 430 and let's call it 530, right up in here is the same one on this side. And you can see the SV260, you know, it starts off a little bit lower on the low end of that wavelength and gets, you know, it's a little bit more choppier up towards the top, but honestly, that's not going to make a difference, but it, it's close. I mean, all of these, this red line for the Optolong L Pro is what it's allowing in. And the same thing over here for the SV260, the red line is the wavelength that it's allowing in. So super similar, even in some cases here, like the, the one here around 550 and even the 600 looks to be doing a little bit better than the L Pro, at least on paper, right? And this stuff is good to have so you can know what to expect, but it's not a 100% here's what you're going to get, right? The test is actually using the filter and looking at the results that you get from it. So that's what I did. So I picked an object for the test and I started with the Optolong L Pro. I did five five minute exposures on M81 and M82. I'm in a Bortal 5 zone. And the night that I shot this, uh, the moon was like 18% illuminated, but it was also well below my horizon. It was not set to rise until 428 in the morning. And I didn't start shooting until a little bit after 10 p.m. And astronomical dust that night was at 9.59 p.m. So the darkest the sky was going to be for that night. So the tests were as fair as possible. So again, I ran five five-minute exposures using the L-Pro against M81 and M82. And then as soon as that was done, I ran five five-minute exposures against M81 and M82 using the SV260 filter. And here are my results for 25 minutes of data through each filter. Um, on the left-hand side is the L-Pro, right-hand side is SV260. And honestly, at first glance, I don't see much of a difference. If we zoom in to Bode's here, kind of get it sized up and we'll match our zoom over here. I mean, to me, those are pretty much identical. There may be a little bit in this dust lane right here, a little bit more detail, but you know, it could just be my old eyes too. <laughs> but the images, you know, they look pretty much the same. There might be a little bit of a warmer look to the L Pro filter. If I wasn't doing a side-by-side -side comparison, I'd be very happy with the result that I got out of the 260. Uh, we can come over here and take a look at the cigar and see if there's any noticeable differences here. And again, no, I'm going to say they look pretty much the same. A little slight warm tone again to the L Pro possibly, but the differences are so minimal. The stars look good. They look the same. I'm not seeing, I mean, there's not any really bright stars in here that would probably generate any halos, but I mean, the stars look the same across the field on both images. So for 25 minutes of exposure, I think it's right up there with the L Pro. I would say save yourself some money and get this uh, SV260 if you're in the market for a light pollution filter and you're looking at the L Pro. My next test is I took the rest of that night using the SV260 and I ran the rest of the night on the Bodes in the Cigar Galaxy. So it doesn't surprise me, SV Boney's been putting out some pretty good equipment. 
and coming in less expensive than the competitors sometimes, if not all the time. Wait, don't click off the video yet. Stick around and take a look at my final image that I shot through this filter. So just real quick before we get to it, just want to say thanks to all my members here on YouTube and at buymeacoffee.com. As always, appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch my videos. It's been a lot of fun the past couple of years. So we're going to wrap this one up. I'll see you on the next one. And here's my image of M81 and M82, the Bose and Cigar Galaxy shot through the SV Boney SV260.